This morning we have a camper shell. We're painting it white. We're wet sanding it right now. 400 grit. Then we're gonna tape everything off, get it in primer and paint, and then it should be going back to the customer Wednesday. I'll touch back in with you guys after we get some uh, some tape and some primer on it. All right. We've got a chip there, chip there, chip there. We've got a chip up here, one right here. Got one right here. Uh, right there. We got a bunch in here. I don't think you're gonna worry about that too much. Got one right there. We have one right there. I'm already sanding out where the clear coat was coming up. You had a small spot that turned into a big spot. We've got a rock chip up there, which I don't think you're gonna worry about too much. I think that's about it. Later. All right, so here we are, it's masked up. All the windows, all the trim, all the edges. Shut up. Make sure you get all these edges. Make sure they're nice. Make sure they're not covering the paint that you're about to spray. And ignore him. That's Freddy. So, all right, we'll get back to you once we sprayed uh, some paint. Put the ladder on the other side too. you guys after we have clear coat on it we'll see how it lays out see if we have to wet sand anything or not finished product it's all cleaned off all the tapes off came out pretty good so some projects come into the channel pretty soon let's go out here to the parking lot we'll show you I'll be right back Meanwhile. 
All right, so we have this 1996 Chevy 2500. We're gonna be priming it. We gotta finish sanding the other side. And then we're gonna be painting this burgundy and leaving the gold on the bottom. It's a fairly straight truck, clean body. Needs a little bit of body work, but nothing major. And I think this will be a nice one. But there's an idea of that. We have that one coming up. We also have this Jaguar XK8. Looks nice, right? T get to that side. We're gonna be cutting the quarter panel off of this one and uh, welding a new quarter panel, putting in a new subframe. But it's a fairly clean car other than that. Then we have over there that Buick which only has 25 miles on it. It ended up somehow falling off of uh, the carrier truck. So we're gonna be most likely putting this one back together even though it probably shouldn't. But we'll, that's gonna be a later project. Then we have this nice Kia Sereno that was smashed in the front passenger side. I'm going to be fixing this one also. And then when all that's done, we have this Jeep. This thing was rolled. We're going to be sanding it all down and I believe painting it orange, according to the owner. So, I think that's going to be it for today. And... I'll be uploading something tomorrow also. All right. Have a good day, you guys. Peace out.